Good morning, kids. Welcome back to Science and the Scriptures. Today is March 14th, and we're going to talk about a pie day fruit salad. Today's actually a little bit more about math than science. Today's a day that math teachers and others who like math enjoy. It's March 14th, and we could write it as 314 or 3.14. That's a special number in math because it's the value of pi. Let's see that up close. There it is. It's special in math because if you take any circle, any circle at all, like an orange or a lime or a watermelon, measure all the way around it. That's called the circumference. All the way around the edge, outside edge of the circle. Then measure straight across it. That's called the diameter. And you divide circumference by diameter, you get pi. 3.141592, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. That's pretty cool because it works for every single circle from the biggest planet to the teeny tiniest little atom. Let's test it out. Just like there are some special numbers in math, there are some special numbers in the Bible. Let's take a look at a few. The number one, we know there is only one God. In Deuteronomy 6, 4, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The number three is pretty special too. Three is the number of the Trinity. We know our one God exists in three persons. The Father, he created the universe. The Son, he came to earth in human form to live with us, to love us, to teach us, and to die on the cross for our sins. And then he was resurrected on the third day. And then there's the Holy Spirit. God gave us the Holy Spirit to live with us and to guide us each and every day. Also, the number three shows up when Samuel is called three times by the Lord before he realizes it's God. Also, Jesus raised three people from the dead, and we know that Jesus rose on the third day. Then there's the number 12. A really obvious example is the 12 disciples. We know that Jesus had 12 disciples, or really close followers, who walked with him during his ministry when he was here on earth. In the Old Testament, many times we hear about the 12 tribes of Israel. Also, after Jesus feeds the 5,000, the disciples picked up 12 baskets of leftovers. Finally, the number seven. We know God rested on the seventh day after he created everything. And did you know the number seven 
is mentioned over 700 times in the Bible. That's a lot. The number seven often stands for completeness or totality in our Bible. For all the numbers we find in the Bible, it's pretty cool to realize that God created them all. We can count and measure lots of things, but our God has no beginning and no end. This seems impossible to many of us, and it's hard to understand. God didn't make our minds to understand things that are infinite. Another cool thing about the number pi is that its digits go on indefinitely, at least as far as we know. Here's a look at the first 1,000 digits of pi. Are you ready for it? There they are. 3.1459265358975. Whew, they go on for a long time. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. Scientists, mathematicians, well, actually supercomputers, have calculated pi to 31 trillion digits. That's way more than I can imagine. In Luke 12, 7, Jesus tells us that the very hairs on your head are numbered. God knows absolutely everything about us. God knows my name and your name. He can single us out individually, and there is no one exactly like you or me in anywhere in the universe. For all the numbers that God created, we need to remember that he is eternal. This means, like the digits of pi, he has no beginning and no end. We can rejoice in the fact that our eternal God is with all of us, all the time, and loves us without end. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you that you are eternal. We thank you, God, that you created numbers. We thank you that you created everything we see. And we thank you, God, that you were here before it began and you'll be here after it ends. God, we thank you that you are eternal. And we thank you today as we think about the number pi. We can remember how great and how awesome you are that you created it all. In Jesus' name we pray these things. Amen.